Para hablarnos de conductores sin coche, tenemos al fundador y CEO de Car to Go, él es Thomas Birman. Un fuerte aplauso para Thomas Birman. Thomas, Thomas hablará en inglés. Thomas, ¿cómo Hola. estás? Gracias. Good morning. Um... Just over two years ago, we launched our service in Madrid, and I have to say we are really, really successful. How can we tell we are successful? Um, we can see that the cars are entered 12 to 15 times a day. We've implemented a fully zero emission electric fleet, and we can see that others follow us. But today, I don't want to talk about the present, but I want to give you a glimpse into the future of car sharing. What does the future of car sharing look like? If we look at the future, there are many topics which occur in our mind. Concerning car sharing, it's two main things which will influence us vastly going forward. Car sharing in 2030 will be autonomous and electric. You've heard the announcements of the smart vehicle, which is already fully electric in Madrid, uh, that by the end of 2019, uh, the combustion engine will die and it will be a fully electric vehicle. We will, in the course of this, in 2020-21, exchange our entire fleets in Europe concerning smart, eventually also the Mercedes ones we have in Germany, and change them to electric fleets. Also, autonomous is a big topic. In the beginning, We believe it'll be semi-autonomous. Right now, if you want to drive a car to go, you have to walk to it. Semi-autonomous means the car, once you press the button, reserve, will come to you and you will not have to walk anymore and you don't have to search for a parking space because you will drop out or get out of the car where you want to get out of the car. But there are five things you, we need for an autonomous car-sharing fleet in a city to manage in the future. And I think we are well on the path of achieving this and are very good in some parts of it, if not in most, right now. Number one, you need to know how to manage in fleet inside a city. It means you need fleet management skills. We never see our cars. Our cars are spread along the city. They need to be refueled, they need to be cleaned, they need to be repaired. We need to know what the status of the vehicles is. We have fleet management software, which is highly advanced and can do this. And we really know where our fleet is, in what status it is, and how to service this. And this is very important because autonomous fleets in future will not be managed decentralized like today maybe a taxi service is organized, but they will be operated centrally, and availability is key. This means you need to have a lot of your fleet available to realize a high share of the demand. And this is something you can see in our numbers that we're actually quite successful in achieving this. We have more than 2.9 million members. You can see Madrid with 185,000 is number three worldwide, which is a great success. Um, we operate like this, 14,000 vehicles, and manage to realize a rental each 1.2 seconds worldwide. So, therefore, we are successful and we're growing at a rate of 45% year over year from 2016 to 2017. What else do you need? You need to know and make sure that the cars are there where the demand is, demand protection. We need to see where do people want cars, use cars, and we have advanced technologies to do this. We use in-app analytics. We have um, high-end algorithms who calculate into the future where cars are needed. And therefore, we can really tell where in future, right now, for in three, four hours, the car is needed, and know where to place the cars. So this is very important. Number three, if you know where the demand is, you also need to build up the fleet intelligence to see which car should be taken or which car, which is already still in a rental, should be driving to satisfy the demand. 
This is something we have really sophisticated, um, and we are using this already in our technology right now, because we have to move the cars within a city anyhow. They have to be refueled, they have to be recharged, they need to be cleaned, and with our fleet intelligence, um, we really look where is there a surplus of demand and where is there higher demand. And you can really see that in these polygons which we draw into the city, we use this to relocate the vehicles in the event when we clean a car anyhow. And this is very important because the willingness to walk of people right now to go to a car is no more than 300 meters. So it's important to satisfy customer needs and to fulfill the demand. Smart maintenance. What is behind this? We need to decide when to charge a car and where to charge a car. How often does a car need cleaning? How to design a business area? And very important, if we look at a business area and know the demand patterns, where do we put charging infrastructure? How much charging infrastructure do we need? And in this context, we have signed um, an MOU with the city of Hamburg, where we also advise them and predict and look into where is charging infrastructure needed. The city of Hamburg right now has 206 uh, charging poles. We have calculated uh, that they need 800. We have uh, calculated where they should be. We know then how they would be utilized. They don't take, they take the information and they check it and they'd see how to implement the charging infrastructure. And we are in a permanent process here really to optimize this and in the heat map you can really see where the demand for charging station is. This of course is also a big help for cities in order to put the charging stations and charging poles into the right position in the city so they are utilized high. It's also important that they are utilized high, so this is very important. Last but not least, a great user experience. In future, um, we will have topics to see should a door open, if a car drives autonomous to you, should, should it park, where should you meet it, and in order to achieve this, we do focus groups, we do market analysis, we include and we consult many people and we really, uh, in this context, look into what should the app look like, how will the pickup of the vehicle take place, how do we handle it in busy areas of traffic where there is no parking space, where should the car drive afterwards, what should the interior look like, and therefore we, are, we do focus groups, we do market research, we do tests in corporations with universities in order, in this context, uh, to design the future and have the greatest customer experience going forward um, and to see what, what has to happen. Also, will it in future still be a manual control that you press on your smartphone or is it going to be voice control? All such questions we do in user experience in order to be prepared for the future when car sharing will be autonomous and electric. In a nutshell, it's a circle. It's a circle. You need to achieve a very high availability and manage your fleet centrally. Because in future, autonomous fleets will be centrally managed. You need to know where is the demand, what kind of demand is there. You need to be able to get the vehicles driving autonomously to where the demand takes place. And you need to red set the right ecosystem, meaning what should the business area look like? What places should be served? Where do you put the charging infrastructure? How does the vehicle drive to the charging infrastructure? Should it be charged fully? Or can it take up another rental if it's only charged for three quarters? And all in all, this has to come with a great user experience. The app has to be seamless, the experience has to be seamless, and it has to be an entirely 
positive experience for you, where you can rely on the service, which is safe and secure and gives you the greatest user experience. These are the five things we are prepared for. We are preparing for the future at Car2Go to be autonomous and electric within the future of car sharing. Thank you.